So with more CES 2020 coverage, Samsung announced some really interesting SSD drives. And as computer builders and gamers, a hard drive is always one of the most important parts. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Thank you for joining me again for another video. Subscribe if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I wanna know what type of SSD hard drive you're currently running. So now let's talk about hard drives. While these aren't necessarily as saucy as getting a new GPU or even a new CPU, they are very important for your overall computing performance nonetheless. Recently, with the new AMD Ryzen processors, we have had PCIe Generation 4. Now, this has tremendously great improvements in terms of its potential compared to the previous generation, but of course, there'll be some time before we really see everything taking advantage of these speeds. Um, and now, Samsung just announced a couple of different hard drives, one of them being the 980 Pro, which is going to be their successor to the very good 970 Pro, 970 Evo. Um, these are some of my favorite hard drives. And the interesting thing here is that they're finally dipping their toes in the PCIe 4.0 waters. Now, I got an X570 motherboard, and that's one of the first motherboards to take advantage of this new technology. And I've tried some of the, you know, the new Corsair 1 terabyte M.2 SSD, which you're going to get around 5,000 megabytes in terms of the speed. This new Samsung is about 6,500 megabytes. Now, what does this mean for us as PC builders and gamers? Well, as gamers, not necessarily too much because you're not really going to notice a difference at all in terms of your graphical performance, where you do notice some differences in game load times and how fast you can install certain files. And of course, if you transfer between hard drives of the same speed, are you going to see that big of a difference? Well, not really for gaming. You will see it if you're doing different file transfers or maybe even content creation. But I think the real benefit for gamers here is having this faster technology is that it's going to push the price down of the 970 and 960 Evo and Pro and Evo Plus hard drives lower for them to be more attainable for more gamers. I personally think M.2 hard drives are absolutely the perfect, perfect sweet spot for gaming and for PC builds. And I'll tell you why. First, they're really, really fast, they're very reliable, and second, they're really easy to install. You don't have to have different cables and wires going through you know, your computer to your motherboard or to say the power connection. You just slap them on your motherboard's M.2 slot. So this new Samsung speeds, I mean, the speeds of 6,500 and 5,000 megabytes per second, both read and write independently, um, that's really, really stunning. Those are just extremely fast numbers. And will you really notice a difference versus like something that's half the speed, like maybe a 970 Evo? Um, not really, I don't think, not in practical everyday use. But like I said, you will notice that difference if you're actually transferring files and doing very specific hard drive intensive applications, which may lead a little bit more into the professional market. But in general, for gamers, the difference isn't huge. It just hopefully is going to push the price down of everything else. So it's definitely exciting to see the technology continue to progress because we want just faster and faster speeds, right? That's the point of technology. You always want faster speeds for cheaper in smaller packages. And and that's exactly what Samsung is delivering here with this 980 Pro. Now, the second bit of interesting news is going to be a portable SSD drive. Now, the T5 hard drive, I don't know if gamers will use these as much because you may be more stationary, but I know a lot of content creators, including myself, do use a T5 portable hard drive. These are really fast and you can move them around, they're shockproof. Um, let's say if you're gaming at a friend's house, you can technically bring your games uh, along, you can bring your information. If you're moving between school and work and home, you can bring files over. It's very fast, reliable. Um, you can edit straight off of it 4K, like high bitrate files, it's very fast for that. Samsung has announced a new T7. Now, basically this is gonna be twice the speed. Of course, it's gonna be more expensive on the onset because the T5 has been around a few years twice the speed, and it's going to have a built-in fingerprint reader. Now, the fingerprint reader does make sense for a hard drive like this, which is used by many professionals. 
um, because what if you lose your hard drive somewhere when you're on the go? Since it's such a portable device, a lot of professionals on the go use it. This fingerprint reader is gonna give an extra layer of security in case you do lose your hard drive, or if your hard drive is just out and connected to a different computer, will give you a nice layer of protection. But personally, I think I'm gonna wait for the version which they do have coming that does not have the fingerprint security because it's gonna be cheaper, and I don't think I'm gonna take advantage of the fingerprint security as much as somebody who may need it. So the one terabyte version is coming in at around $229 compared to the T5, which is around $250 right now, but that's to be expected for the new technology, including the fingerprint scanner. The two terabytes around $400, which it's a little spicy, but in the future that's gonna come down and hopefully that's gonna push the price down of the current T5, which is gonna make that a very interesting value proposition. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed my content. Please subscribe if you enjoyed what you see. Leave a comment below and remember to smash that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video.